Welcome to Thought for Shabbat for Friday, July 26th. This week our Torah portion is known as Pinchas in the Book of Numbers. And it picks up on the story of Pinchas, who is what our tradition would call a zealot. He is a zealot for God, a zealot for religion, and so it seems like that would be a good thing. But some of Pinchas's actions that we read about in the end of last week's Torah portion seem extreme. Although he cares very deeply, although he knows that what he's doing is for an important cause, it's hard to make sense of his actions in that context. And so this week we pick up with a story and we find out how God thinks about Pinchas's actions. And God says, because Pinchas did what he did, God is going to offer Priti Shalom, my covenant of peace. God is offering a covenant of peace to Pinchas. And one of the ways that our tradition has interpreted this phrase, Priti Shalom, is that it's suggesting that though what Pinchas did might have been important or it might have been understandable that the way that he acted, there might have been another way to go about it. And this Priti Shalom, this covenant of peace is about God saying to Pinchas, you can calm down. You can take a deep breath. It's okay now. Take this sense of peace. And I think that that is one of the things that we are trying to explore for all of us this year is our soul healing theme. Nishama is about the soul. How can we find for ourselves a covenant of peace with God? How can we find that sense of wholeness. Every time we are feeling elevated, every time we are feeling extreme, even if it is something for something that we really believe in, we care very deeply about, are the actions that we take justified? Are we doing things in an appropriate way? Is there a way to incorporate that sense of peace within our actions when we care very deeply about something? And so tonight, we will be exploring one of the prayers in our liturgy and one of the many ways that we can interpret it. This prayer is known as Elohim Shaman. And so we're going to take that theme for our one voice, first one voice Shabbat service with Cantor Carlin and explore it deeply. Of course, the band will be there, our fabulous one voice Shabbat band. We will sing and pray and connect and find a sense, I hope, of wholeness and of peace and as we connect to our soul and this wonderful gift that each of us has within us. So we hope to see you there. Shabbat Shalom.